Nutrition in animals is mostly heterotrophic. They depend on plants and other animals for their food. Some animals feed on both plants and animals. Animals and non-green plants like fungi, bacteria, etc. cannot make their own food. Such organisms are known as heterotrophs and their mode of nutrition as heterotrophic nutrition. These organisms depend on autotrophs for their nutrition directly or indirectly. Heterotrophs can be divided into three categories on the basis of their eating habits. Herbivores are those animals which eat plants, for example, cow, goat, etc. Carnivores are those animals which eat the flesh of other animals, for example, lion, tiger, etc. Omnivores are those animals which eat both plants and the flesh of other animals, for example, man, crow, etc. Digestive system Digestion in human beings takes place in the alimentary canal. The alimentary canal of human beings consists of the following parts, the buccal cavity, esophagus, stomach, small intestine, large intestine and anus. The process of digestion in human beings begins in the mouth and ends in the small intestine. The process of ingestion takes place through the mouth. Salivary glands present in the mouth secrete saliva. The saliva helps in breakdown of starch into sugars. Tongue is the fleshy muscular organ attached to the buccal cavity. It helps in mixing of food with the saliva and swallowing of food. On the action of saliva, the food changes into bolus. Esophagus or food pipe runs along the neck. It pushes down the bolus into the stomach. Inside the stomach, the food changes into thin slurry. Digestive juices secreted by the stomach break down the proteins into simple substances and kill the germs present in the food. In the small intestine, carbohydrates get broken into simple sugars, fats into fatty acids and glycerol and proteins get converted into amino acids. The small intestine is the longest organ of the digestive system arranged like a coil. The length of the small intestine is 7 meter long. Absorption of the digested food takes place in the lower part of the small intestine. Absorption of water and salt from the undigested food takes place in the large intestine. The fecal matter is removed through the anus. Liver and pancreas also help in the process of digestion and hence are called digestive organs of our body. Liver is the largest gland of the body. It secretes bile juice that is stored in the gallbladder. Bile juice plays an important role in the digestion of fats. Pancreas is a cream-colored gland. It secretes pancreatic juice. The duodenum, a part of small intestine, receives the bile juice from the liver and the pancreatic juice from the pancreas. Let us perform an activity to observe the role of saliva in digestion. Take two test tubes. Label them as P and Q. Add one teaspoonful of boiled rice in the test tube P. Add one teaspoonful of boiled rice after chewing it for two to three minutes in the test tube Q. Now add one teaspoonful of water in the test tubes P and Q to form solution of boiled rice. Pour 4 to 5 drops of iodine solution in each test tube. Observe and note the change in the color of the boiled rice solution in the test tubes P and Q. You will observe that the color of the boiled rice solution in test tube P turns blue-black while that in test tube Q remains unchanged. The blue-black color in the test tube P indicates the presence of starch in it. However, since the color of the boiled rice solution remains unchanged in test tube Q, it indicates absence of starch. This shows that saliva digests starch present in the boiled rice into sugar. Digestion in Ruminants Human beings cannot digest the cellulose present in food as the human system lacks the cellulose enzyme required to digest it. Ruminants are hooved plant-eating animals that digest their food in two steps. Their stomachs are divided into four compartments. The rumen, 
reticulum, omasum, and abomasums. After the half-chewed food is swallowed, it goes from the mouth to the rumen, the first chamber of the stomach. Here, it is acted upon by bacteria and microorganisms. This half-digested food then goes to the second muscular chamber, the reticulum, from where it is sent back to the mouth as cud to be chewed again. This action is known as ruminating. The rechewed food is swallowed for the second time. After passing the first two chambers, it enters the third chamber, the omasum. Here the food is further broken down into still smaller pieces which finally enter the fourth chamber, the abomasums. Here the enzymes act upon the food and digestion is completed as in the human stomach. After this, the digested food is sent to the small intestine where the nutrients are absorbed. Amoeba is a unicellular microscopic organism found in pond water. It consists of a single blobby cell surrounded by a porous cell membrane. A large disc-shaped nucleus within the amoeba controls growth and reproduction. Amoeba moves by changing the shape of its body, forming pseudopod that is a false foot. Amoeba engulfs tiny particles of food by surrounding it with false feet or pseudopodia. When amoeba senses food, it forms pseudopodia around the food and engulfs it. The engulfed food is then trapped in the food vacuole where digestive juice is secreted so as to break the food into simpler substances. Digestion is intracellular. The digested food is then absorbed in the cytoplasm for further use. 